holding. In this video, I'll show you all how I disassemble these Aries battery pack model number BPB044S. It's an 8.4 volts and 4400 milliamp hours battery pack. Before I continue, if you're new to, to this channel, please subscribe, like, click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos, and you're free to share this video to your friends if you find it's informative. Let's start. Let me put these away. When disassembling the pack, these tips, if you notice it have a glare, it's plastic. So first thing to do is run a sharp object in the center of it to break it loose. So when you take the part of the pack apart, there will be nothing holding you back. Okay, this is it. What? I do is I take a adjustable wrench and I twist then I squeeze the back just to break it open slightly I take this plastic object and run it down the sides and this is it no it has some sticky glue or should I say a piece inside which makes it th that this side very uh, difficult to come out and you just walk your way through just to get that piece out This is it. That's the piece I was talking about. The cells are Samsung cells. And you could use your plastic tool to just scratch out the the glue 
then you take out the board you cut your wires individually just to so it won't spark that is the sense wire this red one is the positive that's the black and another sense wire and you take out your board without shorting out the battery pack I will do another one because I wouldn't want to bore you all opening the entire pack I have in front of me remember you cut the center just to free up that nylon sticker you cut the other side then you take your adjustable wrench you hold just this portion here you grab and you twist you squeeze the back just slightly then you take your plastic tool and work your way in when I'm opening it try to get the side with that glue uh, two different battery packs this is an LG this one is an LG this one is a Samsung so you scratch out You clean it up so whatever you decide or whatever holder you'll be putting it in it will be free then you take your tool just remember to cut the wires one by one do not try cutting two wires And it doesn't matter which one you cut first.
just don't make the mistake and cut two wires to short out that's the control board i'll be taking out the rest of camera i wouldn't want to boil all you have taken out all the casing and these are the cells these here uh, samsung cells these here lg and this one doesn't have a name no marking i don't know if the marking is between here so let's go ahead and oh i see something feed here I cannot really make that out. It do have a marking. I cannot make it out. These cells, I don't like them that much. These red cells. I've had some bad experience with them. They tend to get hot while um, charging I'll just open two packs and You try to get as much of it as you can. Whatever is left, you just That's the spacer. You have to be very careful with that it's very sharp. What I usually do is just put it down on some flat surface and just tap it. This is a negative, this is the positive end. It has that piece of shield around it, so 
you won't make contact when trying to remove the nickel strip This is how you go about it, then you would cut this to open it up. Ah. this battery has been I think you could see that leaking you would just do that and go through the entire pack i won't do the whole thing on camera to boil but you have an idea of it let me test these Cells I took out especially and the one with the set on DC volts. And this one. A three point three volts, although it show it's been uh, leaking. Uh, This one is 3.36 So I have two at 3.36 on two at 
a free zero. And this is it. I'll do the rest off camera. If you enjoy the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos. I'll put in the description a link to this uh, meter and any other thing I use in this video. Thank you. Let go, uh, get aside if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, suicide